Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we started doing here is big old division problems. So, however, don't be too intimidated by it, by it all. We're going to use estimation to help us to solve these problems. Now, my advice is to be as methodical and neat and take your time, uh, excuse me, methodical and as neat as you possibly can, and by all means, take your time. So, here we go. Let's set this thing up. So, I'm going to write the problem over here and probably all over this other problem here just because I don't have the room and I like the room. So I'm going to give myself a lot of space. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to run a quick estimate for a couple of reasons. Number one, by the time I'm done, I want to have a nice target to find out if my answer is reasonable. And number two, I kind of want to find out how many uh, levels this thing is going to need by the time I'm done. So I can give you a little clue for that as well. So my little estimate, I'm going to take my 19, turn it into 20. Now, this is going to be nice and quick. I don't want to get too fancy with this. I'm going to turn this into 1,600 because it works nicely. I'm going to divide divide 10 by each of these guys, or divide 10 out of each of these guys here. So I wind up with 2 into 16, which is 8, with one more 0 or one more place value. So by the time I'm done, I should have an answer somewhere in the range of 80. Okay? So let's start dividing here. I notice that 19 doesn't go into 1, or it goes into 1 0 times. It goes into 16 0 times. So really... My problem right now is 163 divided by 19. Now, what I teach the kids is a long division problem is really simply a series of smaller division problems embedded within it. So, my first issue here is 163 divided by 19. So, right on the side, I'm actually going to write that. Okay, so 163 divided by 19. There it is. Now, I'm going to run a little estimate on just that one because the problem is... Well, the worst part about dividing these numbers is I don't know what I'm going to use um, as the other factor for multiplying 19 to try to get to 163. I don't know how many times it goes in. Uh, so when I was a kid, I used to multiply 19 by everything just to find out. Um, and it was a terrible process. So and it took a lot of time. So here I'm just going to run a quick estimate. This is going to be 16 like before. And I wind up with 8. Now, that 8 is special because that is my target for my, my second factor. So 19 times 8. So on the other side here, that's what I'm going to use. So 19 times 8. So let's see. So 8 times 9 gives me 72. 8 times 1 gives me 8 plus 7 gives me 15. So 152. And that nails it. So there's my 8. I didn't have to multiply a bunch of different times. There it is. I get a 1. I get a 1. I bring down my 4. And now I have a brand new division problem. So what I'm going to do is do the same thing I did before. I'm going to write out my new division problem. 114 divided by 19. I'm going to set up another little estimate. And this is, I can make this 120. And I wind up with 6. There's my new target. So 19 times 6. So I'm trying to be as methodical as I can be. Take your time. Pace yourself. Don't go too fast because it's very easy to make little mistakes. 6 times 9 gives me 54. 6 times 1 gives me 6. Plus 5 gives me 11. 114. Oh, wow. Look at that. Nails it. So 6, 114. I don't have anything left. Okay? So now, this big old division problem that looks very complex, I wound up multiplying twice to help me find that answer of 86, okay? So that's the deal. Want to run another one? Let's see how we do. So let's run this guy here. How about number three? Okay, why not? So 37 into 22,000. Oh, boy, this one looks juicy. 274. So estimate first. Same thing. Take your time. I'll turn this into 40. And from 40, let's see, I'll turn this into 20,000. Why not? How's that? You can make it 24,000. It really doesn't matter as long as you get into the ballpark somewhere. So let's see, that's going to be 5. There you go. So there's my single digit deal, right? So 20 divided by 4 gives me 5. And two more place values, so 500. So my answer should be in the range of 500 somewhere. So here we go. 37 goes into 2, 0 times. 37 goes into 22, also zero times. But it does go into 222. So here we have it, 2, 2, 2. Now I'm going to run the estimate on this guy. I'll do my 200, that'd be 4, 5. 
There's my target. So 37 times 5. Oops. 37. 37 times 5. Okay? So that's 35. And that's 15, 16, 17, 18. So 185. I'm pretty sure that's going to be it. But let's just be sure. I'll just run one more. I'll just run the 6 to be sure. So 42. There's an 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Oh, wait a minute. Boy, I'm glad I ran that because that runs perfectly. So six times for 222. Two, two. Subtract to get nothing. So I bring down this 7. 37 goes into 7 zero times. Okay. And for zero, bring this down. Now bring down the next guy. 37 goes into 74. Oh, I think that's going to go twice. I think it does. So 74. Let me just make sure. 37 times 2. There's a 14. There's a 74. So there it is. Okay? So I used estimation, estimation to give me a target for my multiplication in order to solve these problems. Okay? So that's what we did today, folks. All right? So all of a sudden we took a big problem and hopefully made it a little less complicated. All right? Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.